finished. All done and dusted. The feet are gone. And I'm on form. Bye bye. Bye bye. So let's drive the new car home. Land Rover Discovery Sport HSC Black. This video is to see how reliable the Discovery Sports fuel gauge is as I run the car to empty, zero percentage and maybe even zero miles left. We start at 11% and 40 miles to go to empty. 37 miles, 5%, 13.645 odometer. Notice that the fuel gauge varies on percentage left depending on whether you're on flat ground or on a slope. Upward slope less, downward slope more flat about accurate now it's giving nine percent now we're down to 25 miles to go but the fuel tank is now magically eight percent full up from four percent what's the reason well because i'm facing downhill i'm on a downward slope whereas usually i park on an upward slope so the slope makes a difference to how much estimated fuel you've got. You know, it's crazy. Look, 10% now. It was 4% when I set off. 8% a second ago. Now it's 10%. All to do with how your car's parked. Flat, upward slope, downward slope makes a huge difference to the fuel tank estimate although the mileage estimate has constantly gone down it was 31 now it's 25 so the Land Rover Discovery Sports you know the fuel gauge is not accurate it depends on how you park obviously best to measure it on a flat slope on, I mean on a flat not on a slope but if you're pointing upwards are you parked on a downward slope pointing upwards if the nose pointing upwards then you're going to get lower fuel tank estimate but not em run to empty that doesn't change while you're parked on a downward slope nose pointing downwards downhill and you're going to get a higher fuel estimate now this has gone from four percent to ten percent only and i've driven about maybe three miles now we're back home and we're on a slight upward slope. Oh no, it's pointing slightly upwards. And what does the petrol gauge read? It's 23 miles, but the fuel tank is not percent empty. So I've driven three miles and it says 23 miles left in the tank, but the fuel gauge is at not percent. It's got a slightly upward slope to the nose. It shows that the difference. And remember it was 10% just three miles ago. So we've gone from 10% to 0% in three miles. That shows that Land Rover's fuel tank gauge is unreliable rubbish. Is it clear? Yeah, it's a bit slightly foggy. Hope you can see it. You should be able to. It's slightly foggy. So Land Rover's fuel gauge is rubbish. Look, how can there be 23 miles left if it's not percent? And three miles ago it was said 10 percent. Turn the engine on and see if anything changes. Yep, same, not percent, empty. 
fuel gauge reads 0% with 23 miles let's see how far we can get now slightly on the downward slope and the fuel gauge reads 1% now with 21 miles to go so it changes depending on slope upwards it's not less flat is most accurate downward is most it's back to no percent because I'm going uphill when I go downhill it'll probably read higher now with 18 miles to go it reads 2 percent so the fuel gauge is not accurate in a Land Rover Discovery Sport 2 percent 3% now <laughs> it's going up it's now 3% or well, 0 then 1 then 2 now 3 we've gone from 22 to 18 mm. 4% now We get to five percent. Keep the eye on the road. Now the petrol gauge reads fourteen miles to empty, two percent. So it's gone down from four to two over the last three or four miles. So the most accurate is probably the miles left to empty. Rather than the oh, it's three percent now. So it's very variable. So I'm back at the petrol pump, and the gauge reads empty, not percent. With estimated ten miles to go. That's what happens if you don't fill up your car and let it run to not percent. I'm not going to chance it to zero miles. So now let's fill it up and see how much fuel it takes to fill up. How many litres? 50 litres I'm guessing. We're going to fill it up to the maximum now. So 0% with 10 miles estimate. Let's see how much 50 litres generates at the, as the petrol station. Here's the pump. So we'll fill it up. Now the petrol tank is 100% full. 294 miles. Reads at 100% full. Let's start the car and move. 100%. Let's turn it off so it shows 100%. Oh, it's saying 0% there. 100% there. 294 miles, 100 percent. There's all the gauge. Right, we can go. So that's the car filled up again. This time at Asda. So we can go at 100 percent full. Estimated mileage now 294. Order meter reads 13,667. Done. Let's see how much I can get on this then.